dentist, I don't know what's going to happen, I'm preparing myself for it, preparing myself for it, and then an hour or two hours before, they phoned me and cancelled the appointment. Okay, so as you guys know, we did our shopping online, so we did like a click and collect thing. So what we've got to do now is, we've got to go and collect it, but the weird thing about it is, um, oh, if you can hear shouting, as a um, terribly troubled homeless man. Uh, sorry, everybody um, who lives around here. Um, tried helping him, but he, um, I don't know, he just likes to live this unusual lifestyle. Um, anyway, um, basically what I've got to do now is... Oh, hold on. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> I got it from uh, VidCon in LA. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so what I've got to do now is I've got to go to the store to pick up the, um, the groceries. <clears throat> so I've got my hand sanitizer and my uh, face thingy jiggy. Wait, can I leave my, did I lock my door? No, I locked my door, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I've got to basically go there and pick it up and uh, they just put it in the boot, apparently, or something like that, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, all right, I'll uh, speak to you guys in a minute. Uh, sorry about the slow start to the day. Okay, so I thought I'd just pull up before, I'm a little bit early. I said I was gonna get here for about, um, 115 and it's currently like 101 so i'm like a few minutes early and my hair's crazy so please please forgive me my hair's always crazy i said this, the, the whole of vlog has just been a collection of videos of me going my hair is crazy ignore my hair um anyway so um yeah the deal is that um we have to go and get these uh these packages um the, the the deal is it's like that curbside pickup i guess it's called in america but like it's click and collect here in the uk where you just basically do all your shopping online you put the order in and then they give you a time slot and then you you go to the, the the side of the store and then they come out with all the stuff in the trolley and then they put it into your boot for you um or your trunk if you're american um but yeah so that's kind of uh weird i guess i don't i've never done it before but because of this um because it's completely brand new to me i actually uh have had a lot of anxiety about it like i'm not gonna lie guys i had like a pretty major anxiety attack this morning it was snappy horrible grumpy like just uh, like so tense and like that's why i don't know if you notice i just look like i'm really tired because i had like just crazy anxiety this morning hence why the uh the vlog started later today because it's now like one o'clock and that's when we started vlogging so um i have done some work today though i've done some metadata for videos which is kind of cool but um it just i don't know what it is but like i think just i was overwhelmed getting everything ready for this like christmas shop and um you know just getting stuff for christmas is quite tedious and with the pandemic and everything some things are out of stock and you just i don't know i don't know what it is i just get really anxious about it you know and somebody else coming to my car to then put like pack you know shopping in my boot and then and then them being the shoppers for me you know so they're picking out all my groceries and stuff and i don't know it's weird you know it was the easiest way for us to do it um it was the only way that me and naomi could do it because naomi is a vulnerable citizen because she has bad asthma and we have the baby so they can't come to the store with us and one of us has to be with the baby all the time so all three of us would have to come to the store but of course we can't take a baby to the store because all the stores here say that you're only allowed the you know one person from the family is designated to go in and do the shopping just to kind of lower the risk of coronavirus transit transition and stuff like that transmission um but yeah hey it is what it is um but yeah i'm super nervous about it guys i don't know i'm, I'm really early because when I'm really anxious about stuff, I'm always very punctual about things. I don't know if you guys get like that, but like when I've got like really bad anxiety, I'm always dead early for stuff. It's like, I don't know. And then tomorrow I have a chiropractor appointment in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I've got a dentist appointment to fix um, a, a an issue with a filling I've got in this tooth. Yeah, I had a filling done about seven or eight years ago and it was like a white filling or something. So sometimes I crumble away. Anyway, so I've got that going on as well. So I'm really nervous about that. Even though my dentist is awesome, and uh it was really funny actually because when i phoned up to do the dentist appointment they were going to give me an appointment with somebody else and then i said to them that like i can't um i can't be with another dentist after with my dentist and then they said okay so i have to wait an extra like week and a bit um, to actually get my actual dentist but you know it is what it is and because um i'm on the spectrum and they understood that they kind of fitted me in a little bit earlier than like what the typical timing was for him so that's all cool but that's going to cost me like so my chiropractor is going to cost me like 30 pounds and then the, the dentist is gonna cost me like 40 pounds or something so it's like it's like 100 quid gone just on like treatment but you gotta take care of yourself you gotta take care of your teeth you gotta take care of your body so it's definitely worth investing in so yeah all right guys i'm gonna um 
yeah, I'm going to kind of relax. I'm going to watch some videos of my special interest right now, just so I can calm down before going to the curbside pickup thing. And then I'll catch you guys on the flip side when I'm back and in the office. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Peace. Okay, so I'm in Tesco currently waiting. Sorry about the odd camera angle, but um, so basically they came to the car and they were really nice. The guy was really helpful. He said that, um, you know, he was like, don't worry, just relax, stay in your car. We'll take care of everything. Um, this is kind of cool. Uh, really nervous. I don't know what to say. I could barely speak, to be honest with you. Um, it was really weird. I was so nervous about it. So he was really nice about it. Uh, and he's gone to get the shopping and they load it in the car. There's actually a sign here that says, uh, please stay in your car. We will load your shopping for you. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a interesting. So anyway, hopefully if this works really well, then maybe it's the better way to do our shop because we could do all the shopping and then literally just come and pick it up. So yeah, it might be easier. Um, but I know a lot of people get the home delivery ones, but uh, I don't know. There's something quite nice about going out and doing uh, doing a shop when you can pick your own items. I don't know. Anyway, let you know how it goes. I'm going to go now before they come back and figure out why I'm talking on my phone. Okay, that one was cool as hell. They had people outside. The guy's really nice. He's loaded all the stuff into the boot. So now um, I'm at the other store, Aldi, and uh, they've got this system. Check it out. So basically their one says that you have to text your full name and whatever... Whichever one you're at, I'm at number two, so I have to text two to this number and then they're going to come out. Uh, they text me back saying that my shopping will be with me shortly, but since there was so much, there's so much shopping in the boot, I think I might have to put it in the uh, in the back of the car here. So actually, it might actually come on the chair here, so I'm just going to see. But this is my receipt from Tesco. Um, yeah, it was really cool. We had like, we got like 50% off with all the savings and stuff. We saved £57, which is crazy, so... I don't know, sorry, we, we, we saved 52 pounds, or 52 pounds, we, and we spent 57. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's good. It's made me less afraid of this now, so yeah, it's good. Oh man, that was so cool. Um, yeah, this is so cool. Uh, uh, and also, guys, uh, this is why I love Aldi. Look, they sell loads of organic food, right? And the bags are compostable. That's so cool. So no plastic here. Okay, right, I'm gonna go home now and empty all the shopping. Guys, oh my goodness, what a doozy of a day. I just recorded four videos. Um, whew, I made four thumbnails, I did four metadata, and now I'm gonna edit four videos as well. But um, we have a lot of presents to wrap. We still have like a bunch of rubbish over here. Like all this, these presents have to be wrapped, which we're gonna do tonight in a minute. Um, my hair is crazy. I'm sorry, I was just wearing a hat because I was filming. Oh my goodness, it's just, it's just been mental. It's just been crazy. So uh, I'm really, excited to get these videos done for you guys um it's gonna be really awesome and uh, i'm really excited about the new autism alert cards these started going out they started shipping uh, they're so cool i mean that's like really cool i'm loving this guys this is awesome okay so um wrapping it up guys um after being worked up and anxious about click and collect turns out that it's not scary after all and it was absolutely fine sounds as a pound so click and collect not scary and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm over my anxiety, which is kind of crazy, but you know, hey ho, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys here today and uh, get on with this wrapping. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more vlogmas. All right, guys, day 15 tomorrow. Hey guys, different start to the vlog today. I'm in uh, Wilco's, which is kind of like the same coloring as Target, but they don't sell as much stuff as Target. But um, I went to see my chiropractor because I had a chiropractor appointment and um, so it was dead early. It was like nine o'clock and um, but in terms of, uh, we did like acupuncture and then like we finally figured out the issue with my back. It was like a trap tendon or trap nerve or something. Anyway, I am now looking for Christmas wrapping paper and um, plastic tubs so I can put our Christmas um, food, groceries and stuff in. Because uh, we've got it in like a storage cabinet, but it's just in bags at the moment and it's not the most productive. So here I am in Wilkinson's hardware store at like 9.40 or something in the morning. I feel like I'm in tub galore here. <laughs> I don't actually know where this paper is. Hmm. It's like Christmas wrapping paper. Okay, so I had to send them uh, to know me to know me for approval because I'm not sure I'm gonna get the right one here. So, so this is the kind of storage tub um, we need. We need quite like a shallow one. So I wonder if there's any more. Hmm. I used to work in this store. At, like, I used to work in the store at four o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock in the morning, years and years and years ago. It was one of my first ever jobs. It was cool because there was nobody in the shop and that's why I took the job. Okay, there's no more storage this way. So this has got to be it. Got to make my selection. 
Okay, so I'm home just out for a walk. I managed to get that tub that I was talking about and the um, wrapping paper, but now we're out and the clouds look so grumpy. Um, it's either gonna snow, sleet, hail or rain on us at some point. So we're out, got my Christmas hat on, it's all good. And uh, yeah, getting a bit of exercise in. Ooh. Yep, raining. Uh. Okay guys, real talk. Um, so basically the reason this vlog is late um, a day late um, and it, it, it's really sporadic and weird is because um, something uh, I've just been really really stressed because basically um, basically uh, I have been I've been really like I've been working overworking loads and somebody mentioned on my Instagram that looked like I was overworking and basically I've been, I haven't doing too much you know I've been recording a lot of videos doing a lot of stuff and I should be taking time to relax in certain times so with that being said, I actually um, had something really interesting yesterday. So I was supposed to have the dentist yesterday. And, um, you know, you're getting worked up because you're going to the dentist and the COVID stuff happening, you know, everything going on. You think it's going to be really cool. And then, um, you know, you think, okay, I'll get myself, you know, you think it's cool because you, you get yourself to a state where you're thinking, okay, I'll stay calm, I'll go to the dentist, I know what's going to happen, I'll prepare myself for it, prepare myself for it. And then an hour or two hours before, they phoned me and cancelled the appointment. And... It's the first time something like this level has happened since I've been taking a medication. Um, so a change in my routine, uh, and or a change in, in the day, should I say, not really the routine, but it's a massive change. So what I thought was gonna happen to what actually happened was completely different. And so it really threw me, and normally I'd have a bit of a meltdown stuck and really kind of um, agitated and aggressive and you know, all that kind of stuff. But what actually happened was, I got really tired and drained almost instantly. I just was like, ooh, I just like kind of collapsed. And, and I don't know if it's if it's the medication suppressing kind of like the outburst, so it's just coming out in like just exhaustion, or is it that I'm actually exhausted or so exhausted that I couldn't actually, um, you know, I don't know, react as, as, as the same way I normally do. As you can see, guys, I got like really bad bags in my eyes, goodness me. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't want to bum anybody out at Christmas time. It's just I've been taking, taking uh, you know, I've been burning the candle both ends, as to, so to speak. And uh, uh, I think I just need to take some time to chill. So I think I'm going to take like a couple of days off and then come back into Vlogmas on the weekend. So this will be the last Vlogmas video uh, until like Friday, Saturday or something. I don't know. So we'll be back on Saturday um, because I'm stopping kind of like my business shuts down over that, that period so anyway uh that's that and i'm still got my christmas cheer on so if um any of you guys want to reach out with any words of encouragement or anything like that or anything you, how you're feeling let me know because uh we're all we're all a big group here hanging out and you know we're a community of people so i'd love to hear from you and you know we can have that discussion so i hope that you've been enjoying the video so far and it will continue in a couple of days um and i've got some more videos coming out on thursday i've got a video coming out on thursday which is tomorrow so yeah video of tomorrow super good and a video on saturday super good oh okay guys so now it's time for me to get back to some work so i can do some relaxation eventually all right i'll see you guys uh on saturday peace